Get your shit together. Alright. We're back. Like the dinosaurs in New York City, baby. Oh, I thought you were just... Oh. Yeah. <laughs> fucking, just like that. Fucking just like that. Fucking Rex was the shit. That movie was the shit. That's probably one of my most watched movies of I all time. I never really watched that movie. What is... You... Oh, man. Well, I know what we're watching next. No! It's my turn next. <laughs> no, we watched all three of the fucking Wait, movies, okay, sure. And we only yeah, watched I two guess true. I guess it's true. It is my But then we're gonna turn. watch Yu Yu Hakusho show, and then... Uh, You're gonna fucking murder me with that shit. No, it's so good. I, Wait, fun. guys. Guys in the comments section, you really need to back me up, because I know there's at least... Sometimes maybe two people and then somebody like view bots and like gives us like another three <laughs> But like I know there's at least two of you so please comment in the section below telling Josh that Yu Yu Hakusho is awesome No, I'm not saying that's not awesome. Just say that there's so much of it that I just I, I can't just Yeah, fucking... no, I got you. Wait, am I even going the right way? Yes, you're going the right way Because the monkey friend pops out Yay! Yay! Okay, so I remember for, we, uh, Keen miraculously remembered from last time that yes. I was supposed to uh, tell a story uh, so I'm a person who enjoys me some, uh, VNs. <laughs> um, that didn't which, sound creepy at all. Which stands for virtual novels for anybody who is... Which is great because I hate reading, so, like, you know, I can virtually do it. Right, and have, like, a yeah, good story you can kind of go through it yourself. Yes, I saved you. Did you just save me? Well, thank you. You're welcome. Listen, since you're nice, let me tell you something. There's a really pretty wooded area over the side of the cliff. I don't know why it's like slightly sky. <laughs> I climbed over it, but when I tried it, it get deeper into the woods. Those guys attacked me. A dick. What's in those woods anyway? I don't know, but your eyes are like horribly red. Yeah, um, anyways, continue. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so basically, uh, God, no crap. You want to warp? There's so there, there's uh. In my Disney powers. I, I think you're talking about the one from Sunrider Academy. Yes. Um, so basically there's two two really great uh, funny moments uh, where the, the maker of the game kind of just trolls certain people. Uh, what the fuck? Just... <laughs> just let me go! Here we go. Um, but basically, in Sunrider Academy, uh, you run into like all the girls that you can like romance. Um, and you can also run into your sister every once in a while, <laughs> right, just randomly, and like you just have random conversations and whatnot. But like, the more the more you get involved with the person, the better you know the different options you can get. Right. Uh, but once you fill the heart meters on all the girls, they uh, they stop showing up. Uh, essentially, I guess to so that way you have a better <laughs> chance of running into like the other the other girls there. Or jumping off a bridge. Uh, but towards the end of the game, you run into your sister all the time because she's the only one that you can't actually romance. Right. Uh, so you just run into her all the time. Uh, but there are certain options- but she gets the same exact options that the other girls get. Like, flirt, and dirty joke, and shit like that. And you can be- and if you flirt with her, which, listen, I didn't do it because it was a romance option, you run into that bitch so many fucking times, you just <laughs> click whatever the first thing your mouse falls onto. Right. Um... But you hit flirt, and then she's like, oh, wait, you're a siscon? That explains why you can't get a date, but don't worry, that'll come in the DLC. There's no DLC. <laughs> Which, it's, I, I, it's yeah, literally ahead. in there just to be like, we get that there's people like this, Yeah. but yeah. we're not going to actually we're not give gonna it to cater you. To it. That's so great. And I, I know so many like developers must be so worried about breaking the fourth wall mm. in certain situations, or like you know, just throwing many things in like that. But I, I have tremendous respect for people who do that. And, like, it's just, it's fun. Like, the game's really funny, and I honestly just enjoy the fucking game. Yes, uh... Josh also... There was there was one night that Josh was... I was furious! Okay. I, I could go get my laptop right now and completely, like, probably rehash and relay all the information. I would have to go back, but, like... Oh, yeah, there you, I go. This way. there you I, go. I thought I could remember, I think you got I, all like, of it, yeah. <laughs> okay, there we go. Um, but Josh, what was the game? Perito Party? Perito Party. Oh <laughs> my god. You want to talk about a travesty of a fucking game? Just hang on. Just gotta, just gotta snap my neck really quickly. Don't mind me. Oh, but Josh was so angry this night. <laughs> it he was, was just, so bad. I, I can't even remember what he was said, but yeah, he went on like a. We talked about it for like a solid 30 oh. minutes, maybe even longer, and like at the very end of it, Josh is like, it, he was so like, in his head, that he's just like, 
this stream of thought that he was he was still going on with it like he was still probably like typing but he's just like oh my god and i have like no <laughs> life and people probably hate me because like, <laughs> i'm literally just hashing out how much i hate <laughs> reno party and talking about virtual novels what kind of horrible life do i <laughs> and his words were no it's just something you're passionate about yeah i was just trying and to I'm calm like, him down a little bit I'm like keith that makes it sound <laughs> worse are you kidding me I was basically- okay, Perito Party was just awful. It is a terrible puzzle game. It was not a Hoonie Pop knockoff, which was what I was hoping for, because Hoonie Pop is actually good, because you get to fucking learn the women before you fuck them, alright? <laughs> you get to learn about these people and w how cool they are, and like, like, you're like, oh, I know your last name now. I know your birthday. Oh, I have to remember this shit to actually make you love me? Holy fuck, what a concept. <laughs> Perito Party is just like, hey, I have this weird sexual fetish thing that makes me weird. Fuck me. <laughs> Go on! <laughs> yeah, I... <laughs> I... Oh. It's just all, like, fan service. Yeah, it was... Oh, I remember Chris... <laughs> yeah, actually, it, it, anybody doesn't know Josh is, like, one of Josh's best friends. His name is Chris. He is very, very straightforward. He will tell you what he thinks about things, whether, it, it, like, who cares about <laughs> it or, like... If it's gonna offend anybody, he will still tell you. And he he, he, like, care. he legitimately messaged me very concerned. <laughs> he was just like, dude, you don't understand. <laughs> this game is actually really bad. <laughs> Josh wasn't kidding. Keen. <laughs> uh, which is very unlike Chris, actually. It was it was just like <laughs> really, really funny that it came out to me. He's just like, listen, this is horrible. <laughs> this is actually the worst thing. Well, it's because I also told him the story about how I told you about how awful the fucking game was. <laughs> It was- oh god, Keen, it's, it's so bad, Keen. I'll have to not play it. No, you should totally play it. But then, like, there's games like Ace Academy, where it's, like, just fucking- Play Ace Academy! Anybody who's, like, into VNs, giant fighting mechs, just play- just, just trust me. No, my, my guilty pleasure used to be Yu-Gi-Oh. That was my guilty- We literally would take scales <laughs> and bring them to Walmart. Like, the miniature scales, and we would weigh packs to find rarer cards. Like, cards that were, like, we would wait for the, uh, the release, like, the pre-release for the, um, the next, uh, pack. They had to piss off the people that worked there. <laughs> oh, oh, they didn't even notice. We were very sly about it. Like, we, we were, like, very cognizant that they, they would hate that. So, one of us would kind of, like, stand guard a little bit while, um, like, the other weighed the cards. And we would do it by, like, however many, like, it was it was to a very precise measurement. We we knew exactly how like how heavy down to like like the last a, killer. Yeah, yeah, it was ridiculous. That's <laughs> That was my guilty pleasure. <laughs> I was really freaking I, I was I shouldn't say like really really good at that game, but like I was very like innovative when it came to Yu-Gi-Oh. Cuz most people would just be like, "Oh, I'm going to build the meta deck and just like, you know, kind of curb stomp people." But I was like, "Wait, I want to build cool decks that might not work, but like are really cool. Yeah. <laughs> and if I do beat somebody with it, like if I beat like a you know really meta deck that, with yeah. it, then I, I you know that makes it all the better. That's that's fucking commitment. Why did I do that? But that that's fucking commitment though. Like I, I don't remember ever really doing anything like too crazy like that. I just <laughs> I just remember like lashing out because I like I, I'm just somebody who likes romance in games. Honestly, like romance options really just make a game can make or yeah, break a game. Yeah, make for or me. break a game for sure. And that's why, like, like if they made a, they should make a Yu-Gi-Oh game where there's fucking like huge romance options. <laughs> Are you kidding me? No. Oh god! You mean horrible. to tell me that you like like you? There's no way that like you can't tell me that like. I mean, not necessarily open world, but like a free roaming game. Yeah. With Yu-Gi-Oh, where like you that would to, be like, cool. Like you get to I mean, they kind of do that. There, there, there was one that was kind of like you actually had the real life size models of cards, and they would come out. And that was cool. I don't remember what it was called, but it was probably like, really bad now that I think about it. Well, I mean, because like, I, I mean, I'm thinking like like Pokemon Coliseum esque. Yes. Type of Pokemon game. Coliseum is. I don't care what anybody says. I don't it is know actually the best Pokemon game that has ever existed. <laughs> it I, I is so I like, good. I don't think anybody's gonna disagree that it's not one of the greatest Pokemon games. Oh my god, I love the it. Best. Mm, that, oh no. I don't I, know that. Yeah, no, I, I shouldn't I'm, say I'm, that. I'm, like, I'm gonna say there will probably there's probably plenty of people that will agree with that opinion because the game is really fucking good and holy shit, there's actually like a story and like. And and Shadow Subaru. Oh. I mean, oh! <laughs> Almost worked. <laughs> I don't know why he, like, decided to jump off the ledge. He's like, oh, I'm gonna make this look really cool while I'm doing it. 
Well, because I was doing the dash attack. Yeah. No, I got you. Oh, okay. Um, I don't know if you know already, but we are looking for that. Yeah, you, yeah, you've already yeah. done this, but you basically just follow the, the sound of the, the horn. Oh, yeah. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Minus just like, um, hey, excuse me, do you hey, know what you're doing? Hey, hey, listen, no, I know what you're going to tell me, I already know. Shut up. Actually, it was funny, we were talking about, Oh, um, those stairs are just going to infinitely be spawned. Yeah, they just infinitely, they, yeah. You just have to keep finding the person, and as What, you, Midna? <laughs> no matter how many times you defeat these Yes! <laughs> Thank you! I figured that out already! You Thank you, generic fairy response. Um, we were talking- I don't remember what session it was. I swear, he went through here, though. Uh, he went that way, I oh, think. Yeah, yeah. You also see, like, the little lantern flashes, too, I think. As you go through the doors. Um, but we were talking about- I think we were talking about, like, somebody just dying with regrets. And it- it reminded me of this one, uh... What's what's like the uh, the sink and like um, bathtub company? It begins with a B. Is it bear? It's not bear. Is no. I don't remember what it's called. But they they released this commercial. Really, yeah. There you go. It's that way. Uh, they released this commercial a while ago. Um, it was back in like high school that this woman was on her deathbed and she's like, I regret nothing that I've done in life. Like I've gotten to live everything. I've, I've you know, spent the time with the, like my loved ones and like everything has, has been just great. I like, I regret absolutely nothing. And then there's like this, you, it, you look across the uh, the way, it's like an apartment situation. Mm -hmm. And um, <laughs> and this woman is speaking in like uh, Italian this entire time, or like, it's, it's like a foreign language. Mm -hmm. And she looks across the way and you see through a window like this really beautiful girl, like, uh, with this very, very elegant looking, um, a bathtub, and she's starting up a bath for herself, and she just looks and she's like, damn, in English, and then dies. <laughs> it's like, oh no! It's like forever one of my favorite commercials. It's so, I wish I could remember what the company was. It's just so funny. She just says, damn. Yeah, she says, dies. she's like, damn, and dies. <laughs> Why? Oh. Like, cause she has regret? Like, what yeah. the fuck? <laughs> cause she's just like, man, I, I've like done everything in my life and like, how could it be any better? <laughs> she sees that one bathtub. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. That's so <laughs> Like, stupid dark humor like that is, is just good. Cause like- It's believable? Yeah, and, and commercials are just so- Over the top, bad. fucking awful. They're so bad. Like, I feel like the worse they are, the better they do for themselves, you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah, because uh, that's what they try to aim for, too, you know what I mean? They're like, okay, well, this commercial was good because it was over the top and, like, Super Bowl commercial-esque, so, mm. like, let's, uh, you know, let's make every single commercial like this, and, like, no, because you have people who aren't funny mm. trying to make your commercials. Or, like, like, the, how many times has this happened to you, and it shows somebody, like, throw their bullet Cheetos on the floor, and you're like, right. wait, that... <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Let me. Like some, I will say, like there are some fucking commercials that fucking hit the nail on the head. Like, I mean, fuck, you had like the good to go thing from Subway that caught on. You had the, uh, like you have flow from Progressive that's just. Like, oh yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Th there were certain like, yeah, keep going. But, like yeah, Sorry. like I I uh, I can't think of anything else. But like yeah, there's like so many different like. We uh, also we also live in a, a world where, you know, Jared. Or what, that was his name, right? Yeah, Jared, Jared from Subway. Subway. He he existed, and like he existed for a very long time. But then you have the the Burger King commercials with the King, King. which were awesome commercials. They were and people nice. were like, "Oh, this is creepy. Like, I don't want to watch it." And they're like, "Oh, okay." And I'm like, "No, like you don't understand. Like your commercials now aren't good because like the King isn't in them." Yeah. <laughs> like that's what made me want to go to Burger King. Like I would literally I see Burger that commercial. King, I'd be like. Hey, I could actually eat Burger King. And hey, like, you're making good commercials. Keep at it. <sighs> yeah. It is also interesting, the, uh, um, I don't know, the effect of advertising. Because I feel like... There are some ads that legitimately make me go, I want to get your product just because of how great that ad was. Yeah. Because it's like, I understand why the ad's in place. I feel like also a lot of companies are realizing, oh wow. I feel like a lot of companies are realizing that um, that their advertisements are just bad mm -hmm. and that they're not worthwhile. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? And they're just pulling ads and not spending as much money on them just because they're bad. Whereas they could just make a good commercial 
and spend a de like the same amount of money as they were before. Like, it it's just like this very backwards thinking style. Yeah. I'm trying to think, because I know there was like... Like, there were a lot of like catchphrases that caught on because of just stupid fucking ads. Yeah. And I can't, for the life of me, remember any right now. Because of ads. Um... Yeah, no, I totally know what you mean. Well, I mean, there's just, there's just like the slogans in general, but there's also like commercials, uh... Oh, okay, am I supposed to just hit him? Or is it yeah, you're supposed to hit him. But he keeps disappearing as soon as we get close to him. Yeah, well, you gotta do it fast. Okay. <laughs> Fucking. Ah, God damn it. Okay. There we go. Like, right as about to. It's kind of like he's rooting himself in place. Okay, so I have to wait for him to actually just blow Start his horn. to try to blow the horn. Okay. Or well, you can just get there fast enough. Fair enough. Okay, well, we're gonna finish this this episode. I don't give a fuck. Hell a yeah, we gotta Oh god, there's first. so many of them! He is legit. I hate this person. People are like, oh, he's not so bad, he's just a playful, uh, forest sprite. And you're like, wait, no. This thing is stupid. <laughs> this thing literally this just takes a... time. Oh, yeah. yeah. I guess just kill him. Well, I feel like if I kill them, then it forces him to... Yeah, blow the horn. Toot his own horn. Fucker. <laughs> oh, there is. Oh, oh, yeah, baby. Holy shit, go oh, fuck Oh, thank him. god we don't have to do another one of those. Or maybe we do. No, we definitely fucking do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> God damn it. I only now, twice. 20! <laughs> God damn. They put on a little show and dance. Like, I will it. say, I think, the, I think the little, uh... Oh, God. Oh, God! I think those things are kind of cool. Yeah, they are wicked cool. Because, like, you can hear terrifying. the clacketing of the, like, the... Yeah, there's something very Fuck, pleasing that. would have been so that. cool! <laughs> Just massacre oh, them Oh, my all. God. <laughs> there we go. That made it worth it. No! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, oh so close! Climb it! Climb so it, close. you fucking cock! <laughs> oh my god! You fucking- you literally are just like a, a shaft. I also love how badly they punish you for messing up. There's like slap, 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 slap. Pull that horn, baby. Oh! oh, oh I was gonna awesome. cry. There we go. You! <laughs> you are bad. finished! I actually- I don't know what that thing is called, because it's not a- <laughs> Bye. Annoying. Yeah, horrible. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you look at like the Zelda like handbooks, like the guide, and it's just like, uh, this is uh, we couldn't really come up with a name for this because it's not like a skull kid or anything. Maybe it is actually a skull kid, and that's just the way they look in this game. But it's just horrible. <laughs> it's, it's just the worst. Anyways, we hope you enjoy your VN experience. Yes. Um, uh, remember, you heard it here first. Play. Ace Academy. Play Perino Party. And, do, uh, oh, God, do not play Perino Party. How much was that game? Too fucking much. Anything <laughs> I thought like, you were going to say $2. Anything? <laughs> no, it was like 15 Oh, oh no. Like, it, it, it was, I think I got it on sale for like 7 but anything Even about then, free yeah. is just too much for that. Well, I mean, it's, it's one of those things, the too. The puzzles are stupid. It looks bad. The, the... The girls are so unbelievable. It, it does what it needs to. That's literally all it does. It, it's just one giant fan service that it's just like, oh hey, here's the cute, really shy girl that likes to eat food because she likes to suck and sensually like lick things. Oh, here's the chick that grew up as like a Catholic, but she's really into fucking porn. Like literally, a lot of the <laughs> scenes are them talking about how like you're in a fucking room with a giant 50 inch t 50 inch screen TV sitting on a couch just watching porn yeah. with this chick and then there's like a girl that's just like oh my god isn't it so hot how that woodpecker just pecks the shit out of that tree and you're like no, no! <laughs> <laughs> it's like literally getting it's, it's like getting a burger with just the beef inside like it's and literally just the substance and it doesn't give you any flavor no. and don't give you any flavor and there's a chick that's like man I always wish I had a big brother but like the blonde chick when you first meet her is like I just want people to be happy like you get a, a sense of how these people right. are supposed to be and she literally says I just want people to be happy and you're like oh I might like this chick she seems to be on my level I just want people to be happy too and then the first conversation you have with the bitch is about crickets fucking <laughs> And she's like, I've never had sex before, but it seems like it'd be great. And you're like, what is wrong with Come you? Come on, give me anything!